This video demonstrates the procedure for mounting SKF spherical roller bearings in SDVD plumber block housing assemblies. Today we are using a training rig which simulates the stub shaft of a typical driven live shaft conveyor pulley. In this video we will concentrate specifically on the points relevant to the SDVD housing and TKV taconite seals. The following table is available which includes the relevant information required for the installation of each SDVD 3-1 series housing assembly available from SKF. The following tools will be required to complete the installation. Straight edge and bearing glue, external micrometer, SKF hydraulic nut of the HMV E series, hydraulic pump with digital gauge, a dial indicator, impact spanner, steel hammer, a spanner and socket set appropriate for the bolt sizes for the given housing, a torque wrench and an allen key set. Inspect the condition of the shaft and check if it conforms to tolerance considering straightness and dimension. Shaft tolerance for a bearing fitted with an adapter sleeve is H9 and form tolerance to IT5. One TKV seal kit contains all components to assemble the seal of one side of the housing. The set includes the V-ring seal, an O-ring seal, four hex head bolts with plain washers, three set screws, two nitrile quad rings. Note that one is required per seal, however a spare is provided. The installation instructions page, a seal labyrinth ring, and a seal carrier. Note on the outside face, top is marked. This engraved word corresponds to the top or 12 o'clock position on the housing. Additionally, the lubrication location is in line with this word and will be the installation point of the quad ring. Position the V-ring on the labyrinth ring step with the V-ring's lip facing away from the labyrinth ring. Place the O-ring in the groove on the labyrinth ring bore. A small amount of grease can be applied to hold the O-ring in its position. Slide the inboard labyrinth ring onto the shaft. Ensure the labyrinth and V-ring seal lip are facing towards the housing. A small amount of mounting oil may be used to help facilitate installation. Slide the seal carry onto the shaft using the markings to ensure the top is positioned correctly. Lightly oil the bore of the adapter sleeve then place it on the shaft with the thread side facing towards the end of the shaft. Apply a coating of light oil to the bearing bore and adapter sleeve. Raise the bearing to the shaft and carefully position the bearing onto the adapter sleeve. Attach the dial indicator and hydraulic pump to the hydraulic nut. Using the SKF drive up method, fit the bearing securely onto the adapter sleeve. Details regarding the mounting information for SKF drive up method can be found at skf.com. For the 23144 CCK W33 bearing, the SKF drive up method details are the starting position pressure is 2.71 MPa and the drive up distance is 1.46 mm. Once the bearing has been mounted, remove the hydraulic nut and fit and secure the lock nut. There are two possible installation procedures when installing SDVD housings with the TKV seals. The environment and available space will help determine the ideal installation method. The first method is ideal for in-situ installation and when there are space restrictions. Position the housing base underneath the bearing and slowly raise the housing into position. If the bearing is the fixed bearing, insert the two appropriate fixing rings, one each side of the bearing. Fill the base cavities with the appropriate grease quantity. Refer to the table drawings for the amounts. 20 to 40% fill is recommended for the open bearing, while 80% fill is recommended for sealed bearings. Fit the outboard sealing components onto the shaft. Starting with the seal carrier, apply a bead of non-gasketing sealant around the flange of each seal carrier or around each housing interface before moving into final position. Use the top marking to ensure the correct orientation. For the outboard seal labyrinth ring, ensure the O-ring and V-ring are in place on the outboard seal labyrinth ring, then place the ring on the shaft with the V-ring facing the housing. Finally, position both seal assemblies ready for fitting into the housing. Place the quad ring in position at the top of the seal carrier for both inboard and outboard seals. Ensure the quad ring is in a 12 o'clock position. Apply non-gasketing sealant to the housing at the joints. Use a continuous but thin bead. Do not oversupply so that it leaks into the bearing seat. Lower the housing cap into position. Place and tighten the cap bolts into the housing. The recommended tightening torque can be found in the installation table. For SDVD 3144, the recommended cap bolt tightening torque is 350 newton meters. Secure the two seal carriers by tightening the four M10 bolts on both sides to the given torque. 
If end of shaft, use an end cover in place of the outboard seal carrier. Fully pack the labyrinth with grease, then move the labyrinth seal into position. Use the corner of the chamfer on the outer diameter to axially align with the face of the seal carrier. Then tighten each of the grub screws to the required torque of 15 Newton meters. Fit the grease nipples into the supply tapped holes. There are two available for seals and one for the bearing. Alternatively, for typical workshop installation without space restriction, the seals can be installed after the housing cap has been secured. Apply a thin bead of non-gasketing sealant around the flange of the seal or on the housing interface, then position the seal carriers in the housing. Ensure each quad ring has been fitted and at the top of the seal carrier for both inboard and outboard seals. Secure the two seal carriers by tightening the four M10 bolts on both sides of the recommended tightening torque. Fill the labyrinth with grease and move the labyrinth seal into position. Align and secure using the previously shown method. When at end of shaft, an end cover will be fitted. Apply a continuous but thin bead of non-gasketing sealant at the joint to help prevent moisture ingress. Position then tighten the four M10 bolts to 44 Newton meters. 